I kind of wish intros weren't a thing. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Courtney. I hope you all are having an amazing week so far. If this is your first time seeing me watching my videos, please make sure to click that subscribe button. It would be awesome. I upload two times a week on Tuesdays and Saturdays so you can stay up to date with all my brand new stuff. Today I'm sharing with you some of my go-to period hacks because let's face it, unfortunately I have had my period for many years now and I have kind of learned these things along the way. So hopefully I could share some of my insight with you guys, make that time of month a little easier. And before I get into this, this video is also a collab with my friend Jordan. Her channel is Jordan Cheyenne. Go check her out right here. But she's gonna be doing some like normal, non-period, just a normal life hacks. After you watch this, make sure to head on over to her channel. Tell her, hey, what's up, hello. Show her tons of love and you could learn some awesome new life hacks from her as well. So I'll link her video and channel down below. And if you came from Jordan's channel, thank you so much for coming to check me out. Let's go. This finger is literally going crazy today. Okay, finger, point us into the video and let's get started. Probably the trickiest thing being either in middle school or high school is knowing where to store your pads and tampons without them like flying everywhere for the whole world to see. I actually have a few solutions to this. So the first one is to store it in like a cute pencil case or an old makeup bag. That way you can be digging through your backpack and if that falls out, nobody will even know what's inside. On that same note, if you know you're gonna be at school and on your period, I would highly recommend bringing a cardigan or kind of like a plaid jacket or something. That way number one, if you need to go to the bathroom and can't bring your book bag with you without it looking too weird, you could just kind of slip it into your pocket and be fine. You could also slip it into your jean pocket. Or another reason that could be really helpful to have this is in case you have any bleeding through, you could always tie this around your waist and it will act as your little shield and bodyguard. And to even go a step further, if you absolutely have nowhere to hide it, you're probably wearing a bra. So go ahead and slip it into your bra and you have a hidden spot that no one will find it in. So remember when I just said that you could use a cardigan to kind of cover your pants in case you bleed through? Well, if you do bleed through, never fear. I always thought blood was like impossible to get out until a couple years ago when I found out you can mix cold water with hydrogen peroxide Pour it on anything that is blood stained, let it soak if you want to, and it will literally lift the blood out of whatever you got stained and it looks good as new. If you're a swimmer like me or just love to hang out by the pool, that time of month might make you a little bit uncomfortable and a little self-conscious if you're in a bikini. But a thing that I always do, if you're wearing a tampon, which you pretty much have to do if you're going into the water, now this might be a little TMI, but make sure to pull the string to the front of your bikini and don't just like pull up your pants and good to go. Make sure you watch where the string is going and if you pull it to the front, I find that it stays in place. You don't have to worry about it slipping off to the side and everybody can see a string coming out of your bikini and then that could just be awkward. On that same note, I want to share with you all something that has been completely life-changing to me. I kind of like preach this to every girl that I know and it's to give menstrual cups a try. I use the Diva Cup personally. There is so many different kinds out there. If you guys want to see a video more about like my Diva Cup experience and what I think about it, definitely let me know. Like give this video a like or just let me know in the comments. That way I know you guys want to see it. But it also lets you go pretty much all day without changing your cup and you can go about 12 hours so you only have to change it in morning and night. So that kind of solves all those problems I just talked about where you worry about changing it at school or you worry about when you go to the beach. So I cannot recommend it enough. My next tip for that time of month is to use a feminine wash that is meant for that region of your body. Especially during that time of month, it'll really help neutralize any odors. It kind of balances out your pH and it's great for sensitive skin and all that good stuff. There's tons of brands. This is the one I'm currently using, although I wouldn't really recommend it because I really don't like the scent of this. Normally, I just use something like Vagisil. It's kind of like odorless. I don't know why this one has a scent. Usually they don't, but I don't know. I don't really like this one, but this is just kind of an example. If you have cramps, don't let that get you down. Try to do the same things you would normally do day to day, but you can also do some yoga. Stretching in certain positions will really help just alleviate any cramping. Exercise in general, although it seems counterproductive in that you might not feel better doing it, it always helps me feel better in the end. Also to help for cramping, you could use a heating pad. I love doing this in the evening time. I use my heating pad for like my stomach, my head, whatever's hurting, I just throw it on there and it helps so much. This one my aunt actually made me, so these are super easy to DIY yourself if you don't wanna go out and buy one. All you do is put some dried rice into some cloth. You could put it in a sock if you're looking for something like last minute. Just heat it up in the microwave for about a minute and it is good to go and it helps so much. 
Now, if you're like me, you have a sweet tooth during that time of month. Time to think of it, I have a sweet tooth every day of the month. But a great tip so you don't kind of go overboard, but you still get your little candy fix. Number one, dark chocolate is going to be the best kind of chocolate to eat. But a good thing to do is keep little pieces of chocolate, whether they're like Hershey Kisses or Dove chocolate, something small. It's just going to be a little bit to crave that sweet tooth, and it's not going to be terribly bad for you either. So those were my period life hacks and tips that I had for you. I really hope you enjoyed them and learned something new. Let me know what things you do to help your period in the comments down below. Please give this video a like if you want to see more like it. Don't forget to check out Jordan's video. I will link it down below, of course. And as always, both my previous videos, I said that kind of weird, previous, are on both sides of me. So all you have to do is click on them or click the eye up in the corner. Anyways, I hope you all are having an awesome week and I'll see you Saturday for a brand new video. Bye!